Hi, I'm Mr. Steve with Shakespeare in Detroit, one of their teaching artists, and today I will be teaching you how to build our very own prop sword, which will fulfill both the A of Arts and E of Engineering in Shakespeare's theme. So before we begin constructing our own sword, I would like to familiarize everyone with the basic parts of a sword. This one here is a rapier. Uh, this area down here, the whole thing is called the hilt, which is made up of a few pieces. At the very bottom, we have the pommel, then the handle. This piece here will be the knuckle bow. These long pieces that come out this way are called the quions, and this small space between is called the ricasso. Now moving on to the rest of this whole blade, it's in three parts. So the strongest part of the sword is going to be this, this piece, the widest here, called the fort. Then we will have the mid blade, and at the very end we'll have the weakest part, known as the foible. The supplies we'll need in order to construct our own prop sword will be a ruler, a half inch washer that is two inches wide, some tape, I use athletic tape that you can like take up, tape up a hockey stick or field hockey stick. Uh, a sharpie marker, a pair of scissors, PVC piping, half inch, or a half inch dowel rod. All right, so now that we have all of our materials gathered, we can construct our swords. So we will take our pieces of PVC piping, cut to two different lengths, which you can ask them to do at the hardware store for you. Uh, one cut to 17 inches, the other to 42 and a half. At this point, we will take a ruler and our Sharpie and measure about six and a half to seven inches up the blade and make our mark and then do the same on our longer length. And this is going to be the handle and hilt of your sword. Now, once we have that all measured out, we can move all this off to the side. Then we will take our tape and tape from this mark down the handle Cut it with our scissors, and it'll be all taped up. And they will end up looking like this. So you'll have the markation of where the quions would be, the rest of the handle, the pommel would be at the end here, and then we have tape on the blade to see where our true edge is versus the false edge. So the true edge is the edge that we attack with and parry with. And there you have it, there are PVC swords. Another option we have is using a dowel rod for our sword. Now I'm using a half inch dowel rod at a length of 36 inches, which is a little bit shorter than the average blade, but if we're in tight spaces, it works very well. So again, like with the PVC piping, we'll measure about six and a half to seven inches up our blade make our mark, and that is where the quions in your handle will end. So we're done with our ruler and sharpie. Again, we'll take a little bit of tape. This time we'll just take it and then wrap it around this spot where you marked out about four or five times to just give it a little bit more width. That way we can slide on our washer right over the top, put it at that mark, and with our tape there, it should be held in place. And then you can tape on the opposite side. So it'll end up looking like this. So this will not fly off when you're working. And the tape is a little bit too wide to mark the true edge like we did the last time. So I put the tape on and drew a line with our Sharpie and then removed the tape to indicate the true edge versus the false edge. So we know which way our sword is facing. And there you have it. There is our dowel rod sword. Congratulations on completing this lesson. And please sign up for our newsletter at ShakespeareDetroit.com or give us a visit at ShakespeareDetroit on Facebook or Instagram or Shakespeare on Twitter.